Hi everyone, my name is Frankie, and welcome to a Movie A Day Challenge. Today is day number 240, and it's August 28, 2018. Today, I'll be watching the 1954 Japanese foreign film, Seven Samurai. Now, in each episode of a Movie A Day Challenge, I pick one film that I've never seen before. And then I take that movie's movie poster and place it to the side of it. I do this because I absolutely have no idea of what the film that I'm about to watch is about. And being that I have absolutely no clue about the film, or what it's about, I feel like I need to draw some type of conclusion of what I think the film may be about, based solely on the movie poster itself. In saying this, let's go ahead and take a look at the 1954 Japanese foreign film movie poster to Seven Samurai. Now, before I start analyzing this movie poster, I want to say one thing. In a previous video for Movie A Day Challenge, in the episode for what was going to be Das Boot, I had suggested that I would not watch a film over a certain amount of time. Now, there is certain time frame problems with the movie Das Boot. Reason being is nobody particularly knows the exact runtime of the film. So I didn't want to confuse anyone and make someone watch a film that was possibly over four hours, possibly over three hours, or even two and a half. Because there are three types of film out there that suggest that that film is those run times. One's a director's cut, one's a regular, and apparently one is just original. I chose not to watch that film because I didn't want to confuse you, the viewer, and I did not want to put you in a sort of limbo of, should I watch a film that's very long or shouldn't I? Well, today, we'll be watching this film, Seven Samurai, the Akira Kurosawa Samurai Epic Film. Why I say it like that? I say that because this film is 3 hours and 27 minutes long. If you feel like you cannot watch this film, please substitute this movie for another film you would like to watch. However, I am suggesting watching this film because for the past two movies for this month, Akira Kurosawa has delivered 100% into amazing films. Both High and Low, the beginning of this month, and just recently, Ron, were two unbelievable films. I am looking forward to watching this movie. This film looks like it's going to be very interesting. This movie poster is just simply a few circles, well, seven circles, a, I'm going to say it's Kenji, I, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, writing at the bottom, and just the title, Seven Samurai. Now, knowing it's a samurai film and knowing Akira Kurosawa's other film, Ron, samurai movie looks to be pretty action-packed. And for three hours and 27 minutes, it looks like it's going to be one heck of a film. As I said, if you don't feel up to watching this movie, please substitute it for a movie of your choosing. But I'm going to go ahead and watch the 1954 Japanese foreign film, Seven Samurai. It looks to be one cool film. Now, after I finish analyzing the movie poster itself, I then let you, the viewer, know that I'm going to go ahead and watch the 1954 Japanese foreign film, Seven Samurai. But before I go and do that, I want to let you, the viewer, know that after I finish watching Seven Samurai, I then come back and tell you a little bit about the film. However, I don't go in great detail about the movie. I don't release any major spoilers about the film, nor do I tell you anything about the plot of the film either. Why? It's because I don't want to ruin your chance of watching a really great film for the first time. Now, if you previously have seen the 1954 Japanese foreign film, Seven Samurai previously, then please substitute this for a film that you have never seen before. If also you choose not to watch this movie, then please also pick this film and put it to the side for maybe a later viewing of your life and possibly watch another film of your choosing that you have never seen before. As I said, I hope that you get to watch a film for a movie a day challenge, especially for today. And substitute it if you don't like this film, as I've noted. Now, in saying this, I'm going to go ahead and watch the 1954 Japanese foreign film, Seven Samurai, and then I'm going to come back and tell you a little bit about the film. I'll be right back. 
I just finished the 1954 Japanese foreign film Seven Samurai. And I want to let you, the viewer, know that Seven Samurai is an amazing movie. In fact, not only is it an amazing movie, it's a very well-directed film by Akira Kurosawa. Now, going into this movie, I was thinking, okay, the time frame for this movie is 3 hours and 27 minutes. Now, I previously have seen Ron, which is another Akira Kurosawa film, that was about 2 hours and 40 minutes in runtime. Now, I'm watching Seven Samurai, and I just keep thinking, okay, it's the opening credits, it's a long time, a lot of reading, which it is. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it. Well, guess what? I did, and I'm glad I watched it. Why? Because the story to this film is very captivating. And the portrayal of characters played by the actors in this film is incredible. I really enjoyed this movie. And the action, I'll be honest, for a 50s film, it's really cool. There's a lot of, like, sword play in this movie. There's a lot of fire. And there's actually some gun scenes in it. Muskets. However, I just want to point out that this film does take place in the 15th century. So... For those of you who are not aware, just like myself, uh, just enjoy the film. Let everything come to you and just see what goes on. Don't question anything. Just let everything play before your eyes. All right? Later on, you could Google search everything and, and find out, well, what was this about? What was that about? Like I'm going to do after this video. But uh, I really enjoyed this movie. I would definitely recommend it to a family member and friend. And I will definitely watch Seven Samurai again. Akira Kurosawa is a fantastic director. The scenes in this movie and the way that he was able to keep a production, because it's an actual rain scene, I feel. It, it, it had to be actual rain. For it to take place in, in like, where they were filming it, and, and to see the action scene going on, and, and the battle at towards the end of this film, it's worth watching. It is worth watching. It's about an hour long. It's worth watching. Uh, the, the, I can go on and on about this film, but I don't want to go in and depth and tell you a lot of stuff because that will ruin your chance of watching a great film. So I'm just going to leave it here. Enjoy the film for what it is. I highly recommend watching the 1954 Japanese foreign film, Seven Samurai. Now, if you like today's episode, you see that thumbs up underneath this video? Click it. Give us a like for today's episode. As you're doing that, maybe you've seen the 1954 Japanese foreign film, Seven Samurai, previously, and liked it. Maybe you've seen it, and, well, you didn't like it. Maybe you're just trying to gather some information. You're really interested in watching the film. You're going to go ahead and watch it after this review, and then come back and write something. Well, whatever the three may be, please tell me in the comment box down below. And as you're doing that, you see that word subscribe under this video? Click it. Subscribe to a movie a day challenge. Now, tomorrow is day 241 of a movie a day challenge. And I'll be watching the 1957 Swedish foreign film, The Seventh Seal. My name is Frankie. I will be here tomorrow for day number 241 and the 1957 Swedish foreign film, The Seventh Seal. I will see you tomorrow.